a motherfucking diva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis from Becca. Welcome back to another weekly vloggy vlog. I just noticed I look mad shiny. It's because I just put some sunscreen on so I look a little sweaty. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching. So I wanted to get on here, hop on here because we're about to leave. If you watched my last vlog, y'all know we're going to the mountains just for a night. So we prepared some food last night. So we're gonna pack all that up, pack everything we needed. We have to head to Publix because I want some sandwiches. Like it's not camping if you don't have sandwiches. And then we're gonna drop Teddy off at his babysitter for the evening. But I just wanted to get on here and say what's up. Open up the vlog. We gotta go. So we ride through. Vontae gonna be like, this ain't for me. Why well, I get to roll free babe. We out he from the bitty. We out in the in the country, country, rural, real rural town shit. So we about to pull up. How much how much minutes? You said 10 minutes, 20 minutes ago. Oh, one minute away. One minute away. It wasn't a bad drive. Well, I mean he yeah, driving. Whatever. You know, I took a little sleep. nap. <laughs> but no, it was like hour 30 from it. Lake. Hour 30. Oh, it's a little lake. Oh, we should have brought some fishing gear to go fishing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I always wanted to go fishing. So we made it to our home for the evening. Let me give y'all a little tour. Guys, this place is gorgeous and I know I inserted like a little montage just now but I also have to give y'all like a actual tour because I feel like that didn't do it any justice well I'm sweating so much it's actually really hot but there is an AC thank goodness there's an AC but anyway let me show you guys around it is so beautiful so this is like the little sitting area we have a fireplace there's like a little desk back there where Vonte is um, another little sitting area, the bed, king size bed. And then back here, you come back here and you have like a little kitchen nook. So we, we started unpacking the stuff we brought already, but it's a kitchen nook. So there's a Nespresso maker, there's a microwave, fridge, dishwasher, all the cutlery and stuff that you need up here. I love the wallpaper, just the detail on this little bungalow is just the cutest. Over here, just a place to hang your things. And she also gave us some slippers. So we have some slippers to walk around in. Over here, we have the toilet. Love the green. Double sinks, his and her sinks, very cute. We have a full body mirror. Full body mirror. Ooh. And then we have this soaking tub. Ooh, hopefully I'll get to use that this evening after we have some champagne. And then there's also a shower over here. Like I said, y'all, this is glamping, okay? <laughs> this ain't your regular camping. So we have this shower and then two very plush robes that we will absolutely live in for the rest of this evening. Very cute. The inside is just everything. I love like the wallpaper, the towel, the colors they used just so beautiful and then we have the outside well, I'll come to this side first a little sitting oh, shoot a little sitting area here and then we have the gas grill that we're gonna fire up a little later come over more seating to just enjoy nature look at this view this view okay so we come down here 
then we have like the little lounge area we have a little fire pit we're gonna make s'mores later little place to you know sit amongst the fire the jacuzzi you guys already know once the sun goes down this evening we will be in this jacuzzi i love all the greenery surrounding it sun beds so we can get a little tan on if need be and then the outside shower y'all this is just too beautiful too 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 pretty look at this y'all i love it and then everyone else so there's like six or seven tents so there's a tent all the way over yonder we have one here um but yeah you have neighbors so but they're not too close i like that like you can feel that you have neighbors but they're not too close so we're just gonna enjoy ourselves chill for the evening um i do have to shout out my sister naya shout out to you because if not for you sending me the tiktok I would have never known about Dunya Camps and it's beautiful up here. So, and thank you, huge thank you to Dunya Camps for actually having us for the night. So, I'm excited. Of course, everything is going to be linked below for you guys. So, we spent the first few hours getting content. Like a good content creator would. That's why my face is beat because I was taking pictures. But now we're chilling. I just got in the outdoor shower, first of all. It felt so good. They got the highest water pressure out in the middle of nowhere. It's the best water pressure. It felt so good. Um, we're not gonna get in the hot tub yet because it's still not cool enough. But the hot tub is hot and the outdoor shower is nice and cold. That's what Avante about to do now. But it's such a vibe. It's gonna feel good. I was sweating earlier getting all my pictures and stuff. But now it's starting to cool down so it feels really good. Baby, all right? <laughs> It feels good, right? It feels so good. Oh, it's such a vibe. See how that water pressure, y'all? I was not expecting that. Cause it'd be the little things for me, like the water pressure, if the water pressure is bad, I'm sorry, but I'm be mad. Cause why y'all ain't got no water pressure out here? Vontae went to go get us some shots. Yeah, bae. Ooh, this is a hefty one. She Oh, you have my glass. That's my lips right there. It don't matter. I'm both of them. That's your lips oh. right there. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. It's giving drone wars, y'all. Y'all see the drone flying? The, my neighbors chose to bring out their drone as soon as they heard my drone. But the kicker is, I think they got a, a much better drone than me. My drone be breaking, y'all. It's always having technical difficulties, <laughs> this drone. But I'm like, yeah, get y'all footage. I love it. Trying to get the drone footage for y'all. I'm trying. I guess this is what it's like when you have a dog because we were out just minding our business having a good time and then the sitter sends us freaking videos and now all of a sudden i miss my damn dog look at these videos she sent us of my baby playing and running around her apartment he loves to run around the house like she was like at this point y'all don't even gotta come get him i'm like oh no i'm coming to get my baby but she he's doing a good job obviously he's being a good puppy he's eating his food I love the Rover app because you can just, she's like sending us updates. She's cleaning his eyes. I told you he hates his eyes getting cleaned and stuff. It just gives you peace of mind as a dog owner because people can be crazy, but she's sending us updates and I love it. And it's making us sad. Fonte was like, y'all were just thinking about Teddy a second ago. <laughs> we got all these updates.
of one. I'm number one. I'm the only one. Just wanna take it nice and Now Bonzi trying to get a little nasty. Ooh. <laughs> um, I gotta come check on this hot tub because it was very hot earlier. I hope it has cooled down for us. He's about to cook dinner on the grill. Let's see if the hot tub is cooled down. He turned it off. <gasps> yes, it is cooled down. It was very hot earlier. Now it's just hot. <laughs> I feel like he should take, I feel like we should take the top off. Better be good after we eat dinner. Hot tub vibes. Let's see what's up with Vante. Vante, you about to cook? Probably can't hear me. But look how nice it looks with all these solar lights. These are all solar powered. So beautiful in the nighttime. You can see the other guests and their lights. So you don't feel too lonely. I do. I, I mentioned that earlier, but I don't like feeling too lonely. I know that there's people right there if I really need somebody. <laughs> Babe on a grill. He seasoned this, the snapper yesterday. Just because we knew it was gonna come out here and grill. Ooh, babe, got the fish ready. Looks so good. We let it get dark out here, y'all. <laughs> but we still gonna grill. Looks so okay, good. Um, I got the lemons. I could just cut those up in a second. You want me to cut up the lemons right now? Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Yeah. Good, I look good, I look good, I look good. One thing about Vontae, he can really cook, y'all. When I say he be taking his good old time, that fish took 40 minutes. Your girl was getting hangry. Five more minutes, babe. I'm about to say, is it almost ready, babe? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, let me get the... It's time to make a fire, y'all. She told me all I had to do was light this. Light it, babe. Do you have a lighter? Is, that, is this the whole thing? Do you not need some for inside? I'm just asking. She only gave us one. Can we break it in half? Uh, do you still want to light the one inside? Do you? Not really. I'm just going to break it in half. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. There's one already in there. I've seen it. All right. Yeah. So just put it in the bottom, and then no, you have to light it and then put it down there. Almost. It's a real fire, y'all. No gas. Just firewood. Every stay comes with a thing of firewood for you guys. I'm just gonna out the fire. Maybe I should wait a little bit. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, she said like one to two pieces at first and then just keep feeding it. Ooh, it smells so good. I love the smell of burned wood. Okay, I think you can put the lid on. She said one to two? She said one to two. Yeah, just to start it. Yo, we got fire. Ooh, we got fire. Now it's time for the hot tub. Ooh, I hope this shit don't break real quick. Good morning. I woke up needing coffee. This is definitely earlier than I usually get up, but I wanted to enjoy the view and the animals chirping and nature before we have to check out. Sadly, I'm using my phone. My camera has completely failed me. I'm gonna show you guys later. So y'all know I'm not just making stuff up. Like my camera, it's like the perfect timing, you know, right before all my vacations and stuff. My camera is just like, nope, take me to the doctors. So I have to use my camera for the rest of this beautiful stay. Um, but that's okay. I think I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to plunge in the bath before we leave. Last night was a vibe. I didn't get any footage of like us eating and stuff. But just know the snapper was on point. Boyfriend made us some snapper. We had rice, corn. We chilled in the hot tub. And who knew it was gonna be hard to keep like a fire going? I'm used to a gas fire. This was an actual wood fire. So it was hard to keep it going. I was like, oh, we need some fire starter. 
it was just we had never done it before so i couldn't make my s'mores but that's okay because we still had a good time last night i swear this coffee just brought me back to life y'all oh my god so we're leaving now and all in all it was just beautiful like i absolutely love these tents um so this is what is going on with my camera like i'm really upset and sad that i couldn't get as much footage as i could have gotten because my camera just started tripping like look what's going on so this is what it is bonze had a great time it was nice and chill great for couples or just like a solo getaway and like i said it's only like an hour and a half away from Atlanta, so we're headed back to pick up our baby and go home. But I loved it. And I have to drop my camera off at the hospital because of course it wants to start acting up when I actually have something to do. So annoying. Hey y'all, it's a few days later and I'm back on the vlog. And mysteriously, my camera may or may not be feeling better. I didn't have to drop her off, but I don't know. This camera's just real funny acting. Like it's like when you know I had something to do something i really wanted to show my subscribers and my supporters and my girlies like you start acting funny it's like are you jealous it's giving jealous <laughs> anyway um if you watched the last vlog y'all remember i got autumn strawberries at the strawberry patch and i wanted to make something so i'm gonna go ahead and make some strawberry almond milk real quick because the the strawberries are like on their last leg they need to be used today so i'm gonna go ahead and Try to put that together. I watched a few videos on TikTok. It looks super simple. So I'm gonna do that. I did some running around earlier. We're going to a ball on Thursday, so I had to drop my dress off at Alterations, go to the mall, do some other stuff. But yeah, we're back in the house. Gonna make this almond milk, and hopefully it turns out good and cute. Okay, so before I make the almond milk, I wanted to show you guys my new fragrances. If you watched my last vlog, I was talking about I ordered some new fragrances for the summer. And of course, I'm going to be sharing with y'all. Oh, before that, I picked up a new Brazilian nut butter from Trader Joe's. If you're not hip to these, they just restocked um, because they go out of stock for months. This is so, so good. I played myself by only getting one. I should have grabbed like four or five. I'm going back tomorrow because um, I was actually food shopping. But this smells so good freaking good it smells like the brazilian bum bum cream well it's like it doesn't smell exactly like it but it smells pretty damn similar and it's only six dollars opposed to i don't know how much my brazilian bum bum cream is i think it's like 30 35 or something but that smells bomb and it's moisturizing anyway while we was on smells i just had to cover that because it was sitting right here but i got two cents the first one is mango skin i can't even pronounce Wilhelm Parfumery, Parfumery, Wilhelm, I don't know, but I heard really good things about this mango skin, and for summer, I feel like it would just be perfect, 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 comes in this pretty yellowish orange box here, and then you open it up, and we've got mango skin for the summertime, so let's smell it out. I heard it was like very sweet, fruity. Um, let's see. Oh, it smells so good. This is gonna be my summertime favorite. For all my trips, beach vacations, island vacations, this is so perfect. It's very, it's a fruity, sweet scent, but I gotta give y'all the actual notes because Ooh, it's very fruity, girly. Oh, that smells really, really good. So the top notes are blackberry, mango, and black pepper. Middle notes, wild orris, black lotus, and jasmine. The base is vanilla and pink sugar. This smells really, really, really good. This is definitely gonna be my scent for the summer. Mango skin. First of all, the name, I was like, oh, it just gives like summer vibes sitting in the sun, like suntan, mango skin, like, ooh, like glittery skin. I put like some glitter on and then, woo! No, I want every, I want my hair to smell like this. If you like fruity, girly, mango, vanilla scents, oh, this smells real, real good. Okay, I'm super excited for that one, yeah. Yeah, baby. And then we have 
So this one's very different than the mango skin. Um, that one's like very fruity, girly. And this one is a unisex scent. But if you guys know, I actually like a unisex, like more manly smelling scent sometimes. I talked to y'all about that in a vlog before. Like I like like a more manly scent because it's stronger. It just, I feel like it just like turns people's heads more. Like, oh, what are you wearing? Like, anyway, so this is from Montel Paris. It's called Arabian's Tonka. This is this, and then it comes like in a little pouch here. Take it out. I'm mad I just sprayed that mango skin because now I feel like it's gonna interfere with the smell of this one. Okay, so this bottle is a little different. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. What is, what is this kind of kind of bottle? It gives me um my setting spray vibes. I just had to go run and get it. My Morphe, like what what type? It's like a hairspray canister. I don't know if I like that with perfumes because usually I like a good like glass heavy duty bottle like. But it's cute. I mean, it's it gives man. But I'm not gonna let that um interfere with how I feel about this smell here. Okay, so let me try this one. Oh, but I like. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I really like this. And I heard, and the reviews are saying it's like really long lasting. It's very strong. You only need a few sprays, but me, you know, I'm going to spray six or seven or eight nine, or nine times. That's just what I do. But yeah, I heard it was really long lasting. We got to get the notes in this one because it's giving like a woody, but it's also giving, um, let me see what the notes are. Okay, so saffron, bergamot, Oud, Bulgarian rose, tonka bean, sugar cane, white musk, amber, and oak moss. So it's like a woody scent, but it also gives like warm as well. It kind of reminds me when it dries down. It's definitely giving, if you have smelled, which is one of my favorites, Gentle Fluidity by MFK. It smells like Gentle Fluidity, but it has like a woody scent as well. Like the dry down definitely gives that gentle fluidity with wood but it smells really 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 good i'm super excited to add both of these to my summer collection i have a few more on the way i'll share with you guys um i love perfume i love smelling good so i'm gonna start sharing more with you guys on this channel so both of these are from twisted lily i'm gonna leave a link for you guys below to shop their website they have a ton of different um colognes perfumes a ton of stuff to choose from so these are bomb. Oh, I'm excited, girl. Yes. Okay, so change of plans, y'all. I was going to make the almond milk, but I watched um, her video, and she said she had to soak the almonds overnight because you have to peel them. So I'm going to follow the directions. I'm going to follow the rules, y'all. So let's soak them in some water. Cause you have to peel them. I'm gonna soak them and then we'll make the almond milk tomorrow. I don't remember the last time I had an almond. Like I like pistachios. I like the milk, but I'm not a big almond girl. Like, what candy is it that has almonds in it? What chocolate has almonds? What is that chocolate that got almonds in it? The chocolate bar. Oh, I think it was a Hershey bar with almonds in it. That's good, but just, this is not my nut of choice. I'm a pistachio girl. This is how you know I'm just greedy. So I came across this show called The American Barbecue Showdown a few days ago, and I have been hooked, y'all. <laughs> Cause I usually don't watch a whole bunch of cooking shows, but the way they're on this barbecue and the way they're making this chicken and turkey and lamb just looks so freaking good, y'all. It's on Netflix if you're greedy like me and you like to watch cooking shows or you want to try it out. I'm greedy as hell. This all this food look good. <laughs> what you make, Sylvie? Ooh, not the ham hock. Ooh. Your salmon is spot on. Spot on, sis. When it can pull away like this from the skin, then you cook the perfect salmon. I ain't never made no salmon like that. It tastes like my greens. Ooh. Ashley. What you make? I call it Carolina Q on a platter. 
<laughs> you see how watching this kid just make you hungry as hell, like. <laughs> what? What? I know they'd be happy as hell eating this food. Look at his big ass. I know they. <laughs> that pulled pork in five hours. <laughs> yes. Wish I could be part of the Y'all know I just went to go see the Little Mermaid. It was so good. It was so freaking good. Okay, I'm filming on my phone because my camera's tripping again. I don't know what's going on. It's going off and on, whatever. So I'm just gonna film the rest of this vlog just today and tomorrow on my phone because when I take it to the people, it takes them two weeks to fix the camera. Two whole weeks of getting no content. No, I'm just gonna get it on my camera. It is what it is. So um, that's why the quality is different, y'all. My camera is literally... Now I wanna act normal, I swear to God, I'm so over you. But yeah, I forgot how many bangers were in that movie, Kiss the Girl, Poor Unfortunate Souls. Of course, part of your world, like I was in there literally like tearing up like, ah! just feeling like a little girl again. Like I haven't heard those songs in so long and I feel like they really did a good job. Hallie did amazing. Um, I thought the animations were just, just, just great. I was in there like, yes! I was loving every second of it. It was so freaking good. So that's that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel these almonds. They've been soaking for like 24 hours at this point. And I started to peel some of them. It's just gonna be like really tedious. Um, yeah, I didn't know what I signed up for. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel all of these almonds and then come back and we're gonna go ahead and throw this almond milk together. Okay, so I have a dilemma, y'all. First of all, this took like 45 minutes to an hour to peel each one of these almonds. That was a lot. Then I get back to this girl's recipe. Let's make it together. And I just was not paying attention to this freaking recipe because when it comes to adding the strawberries in, you need strawberries, whatever swerve is, water, vanilla extract, pinch of salt, one fourth of xan xanthan gum. You know I don't got xanthan gum in here. I don't have xanthan gum. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make a strawberry simple syrup, but I don't know how a strawberry simple syrup is gonna taste in almond milk. Like I feel like she made hers like thicker. Like it's more like a filling. And squeeze the juice from one half of a lemon. Combine equal parts. This is what you get when you don't pay attention. I was not paying attention. Like I thought I had everything I needed because I thought I was super simple. What is xanthan gum? I guess that's what makes it like dewy, like or something. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna wing it, y'all. I'll be back after I figure this out. So I have an idea, y'all. I'm not even going to make this simple syrup. I'm just gonna blend everything together. Duh, I'm gonna blend everything together and then I'm gonna strain it through, through a cheesecloth that I just got from Target. And then, it, so everything should be smooth. You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut a few more strawberries. I'm gonna blend it all together, girl. Add some vanilla extract, some salt. Um, this girl used some dates in hers. You know, I love a good date for sweetness. So that's what we're gonna do. I was about to be doing way too much, like, girl. But when don't, you know, you know I do with that. So it calls for all these almonds, three cups of water, Ooh, uno, dos, Tres. Strawberry to almond ratio, period. Okay, yeah, so I added everything in here and now I'm gonna go ahead, I am gonna add these dates in here. 
Because why would you not have dates? Y'all, all that work for this little baby reward, not even a full, not even a full carton. Oh my God. I can assure you it's good. It's actually tasty. It's really good. I'm going to let it get cold and I can literally just drink a whole glass by itself. But I mean, that's all I got is a glass <laughs> for all that work. I can assure you I will not be doing it again. I don't know, something makes me upset about a whole bunch of labor and a little bit of rewards. Where's my rewards? Did all that work, all that cleaning up? That's all the reward I get? So it's good, it's tasty, so I'll link the video below. Um, but I would suggest doubling the recipe so you can get a little bit more rewards. You deserve it. But it was, I mean, it's good, it's tasty. I'm gonna let it get cold. And drink this with, this will be good with like a strawberry cookie or something. Some strawberry almond milk. It's good. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, guys. This one probably won't be like super long, but I feel like part of my inconsistency comes from me wanting to put out a super long vlog when it really don't even have to be that long. So, especially because I'm posting another one, two videos before I leave. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, and stay tuned for my next video because there will be one next week.